Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat, to my fellow educators and to the learners who are eager to know the third quarter competencies. Please watch this video till the end. Okay, so let's start. Here are the third quarter content. We have five. Number one, balance and unbalance forces. Number two, motion, displacement, and velocity. Number three, distance time graphs. And number four, identifying and controlling variables. And then number five, heat transfer. Here are the third quarter content standards. Number one, scientists and engineers analyze forces to predict their effects on movements. And the number two, vectors differentiate the concepts of speed and velocity. Number three, graphing motions provide more accurate predictions about speed and velocity. And number four, particle model explains natural systems and processes. Lastly, number five for content standards. Number five, scientists and engineers conduct innovative research to find solutions to the current global energy crisis by seeking renewable energy solutions. Okay, so here are the third quarter learning competencies. Number one, identify that forces act between objects and can be measured. Number two, Identify and describe everyday situations that demonstrate letter A, balance forces such as a box resting on an inclined plane, a man standing still, or an object moving with constant velocity. Letter B, unbalanced forces such as a freely falling fruit or an accelerating car. Number three, Draw a free body diagram or FBD to represent the relative magnitude and direction of the forces involving balance and unbalanced forces. Number four, identify that when forces are not balanced, they can be they can cause changes in the object speed or direction of motion. Number five, explain the difference between the distance and displacement in everyday situations in relation to a reference point. Number six, distinguish between speed and velocity using the concept of vectors. And number seven, describe uniform velocity and represent it using distance time graphs. Number eight, explain the difference between heat and temperature. Number nine, identify advantageous and disadvantageous examples of conduction, convection, and flagellation. Number ten, explain in terms of the particle model the processes underlying convection and conduction of heat energy. So before we proceed with the last uh, learning competencies, um, most of the topics here are already present in this uh, channel. You may watch those uh, topics. Okay, so lastly, number 11, gather information from secondary sources to identify and describe examples of in innovative devices that can be used to transform heat energy into electrical energy. So thank you so much. Um, if you want this video and you want to learn more about physics, you may subscribe. Thank you so much. Good luck and 